Well, hello there, friend. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Andrew Najera here at Drew Installs Hardware. Today I'm tr going to be installing a part to make this Vonduper 99-2 function work. So this is a normal Vonduper 99-2. Dash two, so it's got the double cylinder, it's got the cylinder inside, this lets you lock and unlock the lever. But a problem we have is that um, there's a shim kit here because it's got this nice big piece of glass, looks sharp, okay. Um, and the Von Duprin dash two function isn't designed to work uh, necessarily with the shim kit. And they have a solution, and I'll show you what that solution is. Show you how we do it. Um, let's stick this magnet onto that vision kit, just to make sure I hold my panic up. And I'm gonna remove, oh, let me take off the, uh, take this guy off here first. This is, if you're familiar with these, you know, basically lock and unlock the lever from the inside using that. I'm gonna keep this up. All right. Sounds good. So the back side of this. So yeah, it's supposed to, this guy here, um, so this guy here is supposed to set onto the prongs of the lever. And then what happens, where are we looking here? And so then what happens is on the back side of this, um, just see. Just that little lip there catching on the back side of that's what prevents that lever then from going up and down. And then when you turn the key, it moves out of the way and then this lever can go up and down. So pretty simple the way it works, but it absolutely does not work with a shim kit. So we are gonna fix that. Um, we're gonna fix that today. Put all my little screws as I get them in the cover here. And the way they have you fix that is they give you a dash two slider assembly kit. So that means you end up removing, oops clumsy so you see how this is supposed to go on the back side of the lever this clips into there two prongs go there and now this comes becomes part of the lever lift arm and as you can just see it doesn't work because everything gets deeper further out when you add that uh, shim kit so that doesn't work anymore so we're gonna cut a new little lift assembly on this thing here now. Help me hold that up when I take it apart. Um, yeah, when I open this up, it's got a bunch of pieces that have to get put in the right spot. And that's all the pieces. And uh, see here, it has a different looking um, lift finger. And that comes with a different looking lift adapter as well. So you know, you're basically going from this set up here, which is the regular dash two. So now this really funky looking one, this one, 
and see it's they're mate together here like this and that lets you be able to use it with a shim kit how about that isn't that something so that's what we're gonna do now let's make it happen Captain. so we're gonna take let's start by I'm gonna move the camera around a little we're gonna remove the lever Tighten this, it doesn't look tight. It's not grabbing much, I can tell you that, with the shim kit. Okay. Last screw. All right. Now we can remove the lever. These are those four pieces, or no, five pieces that come with that thing. So, put it on the bench here, and I'm going to, um, they said they're gonna start testing the fire alarm, which I hope they don't. Okay, that. Cylinder's gonna come out. That cylinder out. Okay. Let's get that cylinder out. All right. I don't know if this audio is going to turn out or not. We'll see. Why am I whispering? So I'm moving the cylinder. these bottom two posts. It's kind of messy on here today, huh? That's okay. So that's coming out. And now, this whole thing should lift out for us. out I'm breaking a lot of my own rules here about being clean my bad like it and now these are just gonna slide out and out and now this is what we're not gonna be using anymore so I'm just gonna set that there now you're gonna have this guy it's gonna go in and so this piece, this piece here goes in first. Okay. That piece. And then um, this metal piece. All right, so far so good. Then this rubber piece. Okay, easy enough. And this and then this okay now we're kind of back to where we started and these posts go up they have to seat in a certain way it's too high it's too high so seat up there, it's like a tick, and then I'm gonna push it, spring it on like that, and then this is the new piece, bottom piece that comes in. I think it's the same as this piece, but heck, they gave you a new one, so I'm putting the new one in. It's all brand new stuff, it's just you know, not comply, it doesn't work together. It's that sh pesky little shim kit. Okay, so that's tight, it's tight, that's tight, almost tight, that's tight, that's 
tight. See, so now we got the new, um, the new one. New one's in. That's gonna go like that. And that's gonna, that's gonna go just like that. And it's just this little knob there that's going to prevent that lever from being able to go up and down. So, we're on the home stretch. They haven't started testing the fire alarm yet. Things are looking up. Even, you know, it's pretty hot out here today too, but it could always be worse, you know. It's actually cooler in the building than it is outside, so that's a positive. I got to see my friends today who I work with. They were started at another job and came here. That's a positive. They're over, they're over throwing in some handle sets in another part of the building. I get to go pick my kids up after this. Man, so much stuff to be happy about. And we're fixing hardware, we're making hardware work. Oh, okay. Either this is a little tight. Yep, see that? That was a little tight. So now, good, 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 good. good. Now this can pop back in our door. Very nice. And because, oops. Not happy about that. Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. See how that happened. See how I can see this. That's not holding on to too much right there. It's holding on a little bit with the shim kit, but it should probably give you longer wood screws when you're doing the shim kits, also. Okay, and then. This was the whole point was to get to here and get that guy right there. And now it's in the perfect spot because it's 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 based on where it stops right there. It's not based on going onto the post. So um, that's right where it needs to be. I need to then get her trim back screwed on. You know, I like that with a screwdriver. I'm always doing that with a screwdriver. No cross threading, right? Never, never. Okay, I got a shim kit. Yep, yeah, shim kit just, uh, um, Shim kit moved a little bit on. I'm going to take the iron and see what I'm looking at, guys. Um, yeah. Need the shim kit to pop down just a little. Yeah. Just a little bit, but okay. Looks like I got a clear path now. Okay, that's started. That's started. That's started. I feel this one. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yes. for the impact there. Okay. Now what's next? I'm gonna put the um put the dash two part on. Let's see. 
Okay. really good so that's how you do it that's the dash 2 slider assembly when you're using a vision kit and uh, yeah I'll just wrap this bad boy up thanks for hanging out and uh, till next time happy hardware